Hey, a pleasant Thursday evening, everyone, or Thursday, whatever day it is, it doesn't matter. Happy Thursday, wherever you are. Welcome to Denali. We're at Talkeetna, Alaska, and we're getting ready to have some fun in the float planes with the virtual USA crew. So I'm excited. Let's get started. great to be back in this part of the world we've been here before and uh just just never get tired of of being up here but i know i've got guys waiting on me here so i'm gonna go ahead and get things started all the priest uh walk around stuff has been taken care of we're ready actually to get the get the ball rolling and um okay parking brake confirmed set and we we'll need to turn the fuel selector valves on we will make sure the power throttle and ooh, those are not why are those not responding that's not good folks ooh, what's going on here ooh, none of that's oh that is all right what's the deal here guys oh, i don't have power to my uh oh well, this may be a short stream guys oh my uh somehow my throttle quad had been had been uh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Unplugged a little bit there. Sorry, but uh, anyway. So let's get going. All those are idle. Fuel selector cut off. Prop lever idle. Power idle. Okay. Master battery can come on. We're gonna do beacon light on. Let's put the auxiliary fuel pump on. We're gonna go ignition switch on. We're gonna go starter to low motor, and we're gonna watch our RPMs. Spin up to 14 or more. There we go. And we'll bring the fuel condition lever up to low idle. Keep our eye on the temps and pressures. JPC, thanks for the host, my friend. It'll be great to fly with you, buddy. JPC has been uh, busy in the old sweatshop working on ortho scenery all day long. So uh, his world is starting to look a little bit different. <laughs> All right, that looks good. We can put the starter switch off. Our ignition switch can come off. The auxiliary fuel pump can come off. We'll go throttle, or excuse me, uh, prop lever will come to full forward. I'm going to put the aviation and auxiliary bus on. Gen and alternators can come on. And boy, we're close close 2280 on the frequency we don't really there's not much there is a VOR right here at Talkeetna actually um, we could use if we need to but uh, really today is not about the the challenge of finding airstrips like it has been for us in the past it's more about just enjoying oh geez I already had that set uh, more about just enjoying the the scenery and doing something a little bit different Okay, frequency, we've got our, our flight plan is filed. We don't need clearance. We um, are not worried about altitude. We're not worried about a heading. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spin my heading bug around to the south just to remind myself that that's the approach and departure for not only Talkeetna, but our lakes as well. We have quite a few guys. It's not uncommon for this group to get together with uh, upwards close to 30 people so uh, we're going to try to make sure that we're you know we're being careful and, and staying away from each other weather is clear 
uh, or sorry, the weather is calm and 10 statute miles of viz, but 10,000 feet ceiling. So it's going to be a little bit of a push to see if we make it up and over the top of our of our route. Here is the route, Talkeetna to Larson Lake, heading east to uh, then to Rainbow Lake. And we come back here to the northwest, that's Byers Lake. And then we're going to try to go over the glacier here, Eldridge Glacier, cut around through the little wonderland up here and come down the Ruth Glacier. And that will land us or spit us out here to Swan Lake and then back to Talkeetna. So four lakes and a glacier pass, you know, just another day at the office, right? <laughs> but we need we need a good 10,000 to kind of make our glacier pass. So that's why we're, we're just going to keep an eye on the weather and hopefully it'll hold out for us okay let me just uh, double check make sure everything looks good I will set the flaps to a notch here and I think I am I'm ready for takeoff so I'm gonna go ahead oh I need to check my my transponder code yep I'm 1200 and we will be we'll go to alt and all right uh, nope alt there we go I am going to put also, just in case, I do like to have my wind on. There we go, option two, and it shouldn't say anything just yet. Okay. All right, I'm going to head back over to the uh, Virtual USA Discord channel, and then I think we'll be ready to ready to rock and roll. Takitna. 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 Close enough. All right, gentlemen. I am warmed up and ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, head out to, uh, I think it's Taxiway Alpha, and, and head down for a south departure. Lead the way. Talkeetna traffic, Kodiak, Grant, you got the names of these lakes uh, anywhere? Yeah, it's oh, in the, the briefing on the bottom page. Oh, well, there's another page. Yeah, I got caught by the same traffic. Kodiak, 816, I hear you, 5x5. Five all right, uh, Kodiak 816, we're going to be taxiing uh, via Alpha up uh, to the north end for a south departure, Talkeetna. Roger that, we're going to hold on the downwind then. Make sure you guys are on the Unicom, 122.8. Oh, that was a tight little squeeze right there. From the Alpha Yankees, taxiing one niner via Alpha, via an east departure, Talkeetna traffic. I am the least. Talkeetna traffic, uh... Skyhawk, 790 Juliet Whiskey, you'll be number three on the taxi, Alpha to 1-9, Tuckina. I think I might have said 1-8, it's 1-9. So we do have traffic in the area. We also have some guys, there's a little lake over here called Christensen Lake, and there's a few yeah, of the pilots that are uh, going to take yeah. off of there. Did someone just take off? Not yet, nobody's taken off. There's been one kind of, kind of hovering around in the pattern. He's been circling. Hey. Uh, Keaton, sir, I think go for three coming in final runway two, three six, uh, three four. Oh, well, there you go. Touch and go. Three, go for three. Shake up, Dragon One, joining the taxi line for one hundred. It's a Congo line, man. I'm telling you. So welcome everybody. Appreciate uh, you joining in and. If you uh, are looking for something to do, there's still time to get up here and enjoy the beautiful Denali area. This is a really fun group, by the way, of guys to hang out with, guys and gals to hang out with. And, uh, hey, Skid Rock. All right, man. Flying the Cody as well. How do I get the synthetic vision? You know what? Um, I'm a little embarrassed to tell you I don't know. I think it has something to do with the the side menu here, and but I I if you click on that I think it's in there somewhere, but I don't right off the top of my head I don't remember. I remember getting it turned on and thinking that looks awesome, and I just kind of have left it alone. All right, here we go. Let's make sure. Oh, we cut it kind of close here. Jeez. Jeez, Luis. Give some space on the departures, guys, because if we all go one after the other after the yard, it's going to make it pretty clustery in the lake. So one, maybe two minutes after each departure, give yourself some space. I got kind of stuck in the mud there. 
Talking in traffic, Kodiak, one one eight one six. We're taking runway nine one nine or VFR. Uh, turning east, Talkeetna. Feel like I'm just stuck in the mud here for some reason. I think I got off the taxiway. Just yep, you can see it in the synthetic vision. It does not like that. It doesn't handle great anyway. All right, one last check. Finals clear. Runway's clear. There's the line. That's awesome. And we are just about ready for departure. All right. Trim is set. And here we go. Taking the, taking the traffic, uh, you got a Kodiak about uh, 12 miles to the... Joe, make sure you have two different push talks, man. Airspeed's alive. There's 50. Well, it just lumbers with these uh, floats on it, but it is pretty nice once you get going. And we're away. Yeah, you only have to wait one minute once he's up. Everyone will wait one minute once the guy in front of you is up. Wheels uh, Flaps coming up. And a gear coming up. I just have to double check. Sometimes my gear... Sometimes the gear does not come up, and I don't know why. I count 15. Uh, Talkeetna traffic, Kodiak 11816. We're on the left ten, uh, hand turn, departing the area. It's All not right. bad for a full plan, man. Uh, come on. It will not be a good thing if my gear is still down. I don't remember where the gear lever is. How bad is that? There we go. There she comes up. All right. So we need a generally about a 060 or 070 heading. We're just going to kind of pick up. There's Christiansen Lake, and we do need to kind of be mindful of departing traffic there as well. Doesn't look like anybody is. Uh, and Christiansen Lake traffic, Kodiak 816. Uh, we're passing uh, south of the lake, Christiansen. Uh, 1200. Not a great radio call. All right. Anyway, there's there's kind of a bald mountain, the tallest peak there, and it's a pretty good indicator of uh, the direction that we're wanting to go. So you, you yeah, heard the, the, the real-world sea pilot guy say that, um, yeah, honestly, yeah, you, you when you're doing this <laughs> in the real world, you would do a touch-and-go just to kind of get a sense uh, of what the surface right. looks like. We're not going to do that, it's nice seeing all these but we are going to try to go right traffic and land to the south. Yeah, well, I'm sure it'll look you, interesting in the water. Are you running FSA? traffic, Skyhawk, 792 Lake Whiskey, second runway 19, departing, uh, left cross twin to the east, Tucking Mountain. It's, it's uh, basically an AI version. All right, I think I see Larson Lake here, not this first one that's a little smaller, it's but the one the after system. that. So we're going to go ahead and enter Larson Lake traffic, Kodiak 816. We're entering the right downwind, south arrival, to, uh, Larson Lake. almost forgot where I was. Wookie 402, how's it going, man? Downwind sent you over here. Well, okay, you get the JV stream over here. You get downwind, you get the real stuff with the VR. And Aqua Funkalistic Booty WAP, current landing rate champ, by the way. Aqua Funk, welcome, sir. All right, let's get things trimmed out here. That first uh, leg was a short one, and just kind of a chance to get everybody out and airborne and all that good stuff. And uh, I think this, I think it's going to be doable tonight with the weather. You can see Denali over there. I mean, it is a little hazy and all that good stuff, but uh, it's. Uh, I think it's going to be doable. Interesting. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. All right, so we're backing off here, trying to get ourselves to flaps range. We've got to get ourselves slowed down. Where are you at, Mike? Take off. No, I'm deep in the Heard the Kodiak is, uh, let's see, hold on. I am using the experimental flight model, yep. And, uh, you, but you heard the Kodiak is not configured for that? Oh. Well, I guess maybe I don't know, I don't know any better 
Wookie, that could be the the. Okay. He knows that how could he be likes the it. issue. <clears throat> Family friendly. <laughs> I like it. Family friendly. That's how I said it in this plane. Yeah. Back of the line. So there we go. Right there is. Right. Said that's what she said in this plane. Well, I guess your girlfriend technically doesn't count in this event, so she she has. Here we go. Taking a look here. Don't want to it's cut better. this too short. Not Do I have a mic. notch of flaps in yet? Not yet. Almost at flap speed. I think I'm close enough to throw it in there. Yeah, almost hazy. Almost always hazy up here. You're right. Aquafunk. It's going to be fun to listen to her. She, this is a new bush pilot that we met the other night, and she is a real pilot and is going to be awesome to listen to her calls. Larson. Larson Lake traffic, Kodiak 816 on the right base for south approach, Larson Lake. What is this called? Is this called Kodiak? Larson Lake traffic, Skyhawk Charlie Golf Romeo and Alpha Yankee is on right downwind uh, for south landing, Larson Lake, negative contact for that base traffic. On, uh, Larson Lake uh, traffic, Kodiak 816. We're turning final south approach, Larson. I realize now something we could have done, Brant. I'm listening. Romeo, we, short, runway it's too late now, but we probably should have created different Unicom frequencies for all the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, something to file away for the next, uh, the next event, no doubt. Yeah. You know what I need to do? I need to turn my strobe, and I'm going to just turn my all my lights on here. That'll help the visibility factor. There comes uh, there comes a bunch of traffic. I'm, a, I'm plenty high right now, so luckily this is a nice long lake, and we have plenty of time to kind of get down, get speed blood off. And I'm famous for uh, putting this sucker on the nose, so hopefully that won't happen as well. But so it's nice. It's a calm day, so you can pretty much have your pick of line. And and in this case, we're just trying to give ourselves the most uh, the most water, <laughs> the most room for error. And let's see how it goes here, guys and gals. It is tough to judge. Boy, this is rough, rough light screenshots, right now. Screenshots, guys, in the flights and picks. Holy Definitely cow. take screenshots throughout the event. This is difficult lighting. Just because I love to see it. It's going to be hard with this because we're flying all this by hand. Good point. I think we're getting close, guys. Hold that nose up ever so slightly. There's the stall horn, which is good. We want that. That would be close. Not bad. Not bad. Keep the nose up. It does have a tendency when you first touch down, it kind of wants to slosh forward, and that's when I have a tendency to uh, to lose it. All right. Let's put the, put the uh, rudders down again here. Larson Lake, Kodiak 816, we're down, uh, exiting to the right, taxiing to cabin, Larson Lake. Larson Lake, traffic, Skyhawk, Charlie Golf, Romeo Alpha Yankee is right base to final south landing, Larson Lake. So this, this ought to look really cool. I mean, we've got so much traffic. Up, oh, Sean, it looks like it's about the difference. Oh the my goodness, there, someone's but... making a low pass on yeah. me, what the world, oh, holy cow. <laughs> I got the flyby there, didn't I? Yeah, All right, yeah. so synthetic vision. Oh, yeah, it's this plane is something else, my friend. It is There's just no fantastic. So, uh, Wookie, yeah, so um, here, here's what I do like. This All I can compare it to is the uh, P3D version. 
And I just I like how it, it really is responsive in the water, but it has that you know that uh, effect after you turn. It kind of tries to to you know level itself out. And like I said, one okay, of the Rob, things that I really have a hard time with is if I get my nose up too uh, high, Robert. Robert. it it will hit. Uh, it'll hit and uh, and really roll the plane forward. So I I have to be careful not to not to have yeah, the Robert nose Collier, too your, your far up in the air. On um, but uh, so again, I don't know what that was before, but and you're not even making noise in the Discord either. Comparing it to uh, what I have in P3D, it's really really nice. Yeah. But I look how make out he was saying. look I how really calm and flat the water is right now. That's really a very very hard thing to uh, to I do did. when you're it was landing. It's just super strained. Welcome to a night of uh, flat water landings, ladies and gentlemen. Glassy water. Glassy water. Yep. Thank God for that. The most dangerous kind. Yeah. It's true. All right, well, here we know we're heading in the right direction. We can see the fishing boat, and yeah, don't do that. the dock is right up. I actually have... we got to make a quick left, don't we? Yeah, you should be going almost like 0, 7, 0 degrees. I've got the time set at about 10.30 in the morning. Turbo Otters, there's so many awesome planes. It's cool, man. <clears throat> All right, there's our uh, there's our dock and various birds of prey. Mike, any I, better? I, think I have Much some better. seagulls and some pelicans there. Yeah, I change your battery. All right, so let's uh, let's get a turn here, and we're gonna essentially just taxi back up the right hand side and depart. So you have a little bit of room down here to depart. Now, now everybody in Larson, it's long enough that when you get to the to the uh, cabin, you don't have to go all the way back to the north end of the lake to to be able to depart. So this one will be a pretty nice one for our initial lake because the landing and departing traffic can pretty much happen simultaneously because you're departing kind of on the south half of the lake. So keep the traffic, uh, Skyhawk Charlie Golf, and Winds Gap Trail clear the runway until it's keeping the traffic. I see three beautiful Mooney Bravos. Apart from my traffic, just be aware on the south end there is a little bit of a sandbar to avoid. Who? My stream has. Uh, Apart from my traffic. Uh, okay. Hopefully, I didn't lose my stream there, but. The right, gonna, the All right. Traffic. So our next. Uh, the lake down there? Our next lake is, again, an east departure. We're looking for Rainbow Lake. Come on in, the water's fine. Larson Lake traffic, Kodiak 816, we're uh, back taxiing up the right-hand side for a departure to the south VFR. Okay, I see some planes down. Mike, how many people have crashed into me? That line looks phenomenal we'll from the lake. have to keep it... We'll have to keep the uh, airframe count. We'll see. <laughs> the back here. Don't be caught in line. Rainbow Lake Dragon 1 right. Are you supposed to keep your rudders in the water Correction. for your takeoff run? Right down pull up. Yeah, Christian. One more time, right down one. Large Lake traffic cut off over zero hotel outside. All right, yeah. turn around. Large Lake traffic, Kodiak 816. We are uh, turning to the south. We'll be departing. Uh, left traffic, Larson oh, Lake. That sounds like a Unicom. You guys got walked. Yep, that's uh, oh. that sounds like a normal Unicom. Yep. Keep the traffic. Uh, All right, we're gonna set uh, on set right flaps. Right base for a one nine at Tel Kidam. Mm -hmm. uh, and Larson Lake traffic, Kodiak 816. We're on the roll. Heading south, we'll be departing uh, left crosswind, Larson Lake. 
don't know if you'd say on the roll exactly. It's a little different, but here we go. So plenty of room down here. It's kind of nice. We're just calling this Larson. Larson Lake Tractor, you got Cherokee entering the right. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a crosswind, though. I've got to have quite a bit of right rudder right now. Hard to pick up speed, I've noticed. Oh, boy. And we see the uh, traffic there. Alright, so off we go. And again, heading to the east. When you approach from this way, call it a right downwind, right? Larson yeah, because we're going to have to make right uh, turns to base and a right turn to final, so that's a yeah, right let's down. See we're going to just get clear of everything here, and then we'll turn to the east. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody hey, there. I'm not seeing anybody there. We're good. We're going to make this turn heading to the east again, and start our start our uh, leg over to Rainbow Lake. Larson Lake Traffic, Kodiak 816, we're making a left crosswind departure. We'll see you. All right, so we have some terrain to deal with here, but uh, for the most part, we are going to be able to stay on the, uh, the rivers here to help us, guide us where we're going. So I'm just going to kind of ebb my way north just making sure i stay clear of everybody look at all look at all those guys down there it's awesome that is totally awesome let me see if i can i can't quite get the flyby view here that looks pretty cool let's see if i can see the guys landed down there in the lake no, dang it. I got a little too far away to take that screenshot. Alright, I don't need to climb too much. <laughs> Larson, or uh, Rainbow Lake's only at 1,500, so, you know, I get up 3,000, that should be just fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around this, uh, you know, I guess technically I could have shot to the south of that one, but... There is no wrong way, as long as you find your way, right? Alright, so let's get our, uh, our turbine looks pretty good, it's at 1700, I can do a little bit more on the, uh, I don't know, it's, I'm over torquing here. Still learning the ins and outs of the power settings on this bird. You need about 1,700 on the torque and about 2,200. Not long. Pretty yeah, much taxi yeah. Out and go. Don't, yeah, don't sit. Just taxi back out and find your spot and get get rolling. Taking the traffic, Kodiak selling mouth is on final runway one niner. All right. Here we go. I think we are. So, in do that first lake, we'll make a right downwind. So, we're going to follow this little uh, river valley here. I think this is the Talkeetna River, actually. And we're going to follow it to the, uh, to the east, uh, and it should landing. take us uh, right around the right around the north end of all this little mountainous range here right into our to our lake what's the name of the first lake larson lake all right thank you larson lake traffic 2153 quebec sierra and entering uh, right now in larson yeah i'm just kind of having a little bit of trouble getting the power setting would recommend flaps on the takeoff I got my flaps. Oh, geez. Glad he said that. I didn't have my flaps picked up. 
All right. And then, so uh, we're going to just follow this again. We're on the sectional here, Talkeetna River. It takes us uh, around the horn. And then we actually have a little bit of a choice here. We could, if we wanted, we could hang a hard right here and follow this little smaller valley. We can actually use the south pass, half of the lake for departure. Yeah, the lake's so big, you can probably just go. Traffic, Kodiak, from Quebec is turning uh, base for um, south landing, Larson Lake. Yeah, you can just taxi back through like half of the lake. I'll give you plenty, plenty of room to do. Yeah, this was a bit too long of a taxi for me. All right, so we, we're we running into our first little bit of uh, haze so issues. Outer 740 Hotel Sierra is taxiing to 19 Talkeetna. Yeah, I saw you kept taxiing. I finally decided just to spin around. Thought maybe you were flying a Catalina. <laughs> Let me zoom in here just a little bit. Those things take about 20 miles to take off. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're actually heading around. You could go Mark, north Mark, around this uh, if you wanted to as well. But the uh, the lake is right on the other side of this guy here. So. I'm going to go ahead and just start losing a little bit of altitude here. We're at 3,300. We're plenty high. Great to hear the chatter on Unicom and uh, lots of fun flying in a, a, an area like this with real weather. Yeah, we want right traffic. Really, really, really cool. Now, I do have anti-icing that I should probably put on here because these are icing conditions. So let's uh, let's do that. Bypass. I love okay. going around in circles. Mm -hmm. Let's turn this on. Let's turn this on. We can go auto settings. That's fine. Let it warm up a little bit. Get the get the uh, make sure the window stays nice and defogged. Ooh, this is pretty. There's a thick cloud layer over there. Good thing we're not. I don't think we have to go quite that far. I think we're just right around the corner here, and we're we're into our uh, Rainbow Lake. There's a the guy on my six. Oh, that's pretty awesome. All right, fly first, then take pretty pictures, right? Isn't that the uh, rule? Aviate, photograph, aviate, aviate, photograph, aviate, something like that. All right, yep, we're right around the horn here. Now we're at about 2,100. Actually, we've gotten ourselves maybe a little too low. I was hoping we'd be about uh, 2,500. That'll be good because we can bleed off a little bit of speed here as well. Maybe get to flaps range. So Wookie 42, you've been doing some good scenery work, scenery work, my friend. It's great to have another guy on board that uh, understands that process. It's fun to learn from from you guys. Ooh. Just popped right out of the clouds there, didn't we? Interesting. Blocked. There's the husky. Definitely nicer when the sun's shining, I'm not going to lie. I prefer it that way, but... Oh no. 
We had that problem a little bit here too. Oh, what am I getting here? I got an error coming up. Engine inlet bypass. Oh yeah, I turned that on just for uh, anti-icing. All right, there's our there's our lake here. So let's get the power back. Right to traffic to come back around and land to the south. Looks like there's somebody down on the water right now. Hey, TD. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Rainbow Lake traffic. Kodiak 816 on the 45 to enter right downwind for a south arrival. Rainbow Lake. Well, I clearly missed a GPS waypoint somehow or another because I'm already <laughs> sitting at Rainbow Lake. <laughs> hey, man. Rock on. Point it towards uh, Denali and you're good to go. This is hard, a hard place to make right traffic. Yes. Yikes. All right. Altitude-wise, we look pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Got to get my speed down though. All right, there we go. Toss a notch of flaps in here. Get ourselves down to about a hundred. All right, so let's take ourselves out here a little ways since we were um, a little tight on our right hand downwind leg. Do they? Yeah. Still got some guys at Talkeetna. That's awesome. Awesome. Who's in a P40? Rainbow Lake, Kodiak 816. Right base to final, south approach, Rainbow. Not get too slow Rainbow here. Traffic, Rainbow Lake traffic, Turbo Otter is crossing over the lake uh, to descend and enter right downwind. Man, I forgot about this. Is it too late to jump in? No, not all. Nope, I'm just starting now. Okay, looking for. Has everybody for... already left? Uh, we're all at the first lake or just leaving the first I uh, lake? think I was the last one leaving out at 6 Delta Fox Drive. All right, I may have to overfly the first lake and join you in the air in the second one. Okay, here we go, guys. Some of us are still on the first leg. Second to notch of flaps. First leg traffic, Twin Otter 3, Quebec Sierra, departing to the uh, south. I flew the entire route uh, the other day just to practice, just to see what it was like and see if my scenery worked. All right, let's, I, I found uh, let's it, see how uh, we do. None of the cabins showed up until I uh, advanced the uh, scenery to its near maximum uh, object. And again, kind of a glassy lake, which is tough. We did okay the first time though, so maybe we'll be okay here again. There's our fishing boat. Good to miss that guy. Boy, glassy lake plus haziness is tough. Oh, uh, this is Doug, by the way. Uh, 149 or Delta. Welcome. May you made a 143 just crashed down out to the lake. There it is. Whoa, boy. Easy. Airframe count is. Ooh. Kind of got myself a little sideways there. Can you think from the briefing I need to know about? I just, uh, yeah, find your own path at this point. Family friendly, no swearing. <laughs> well, that's obvious. How are we entering the traffic over the first lake, gentlemen? Right now, Sadly. <laughs> right, okay. right Rainbow Lake, Kodiak 816. Thank We're you, down right and uh, heading to the right shore. Oh, Rainbow so we pass the lake and come in from... Okay. Rainbow Lake, Turbo <laughs> Otter is the uh, final first one when you're landing to the south, so you should just be turning left before you get to the lake to join the right. Ah, gotcha, the... gotcha, gotcha. No, I was landing the other mm -hmm. direction last time. So we'll get out of the way so here. Rainbow Lake's the second lake? Yes. Okay. We'll kind of bring it around the, the far end are here like, so we stay out of the way of everybody who's landed. Are you guys, like, pulling up to, are you guys, like, pulling up to the uh, cabins and parking or anything? Or just not really parking but we kind of get up there to kind of to rally up but really truly it's just sort of a 
head head off to the right hand side, get out of the way, taxi back up to the departure area, and uh, whenever you're ready, rock and roll. I was, yeah, I've got mine set for like 11 in the morning, their time. I can't see. Can't see anybody here. Sheep Lake. Oh. So, anyways, what? No burgers and hot dogs? <laughs> no burgers and hot dogs. Man, I've got the hack and yak today. Don't keep saying block. Those allergies are kicking my butt. So I'm thinking everybody's talking on uh, Discord and not one two. No, we're using Unicom. Uh, Kodiak Rainbow Lake is, is looking pretty short, right guys. <laughs> not for chatting, just for the radio calls, right? Yeah, this is the Discord is for chatting. The radio calls are for. That was a little bit of a sketchy uh, landing there. Uh, hard landing, and I ended up getting up to a minimum. Up on my uh, one ski there, so that was uh, that was kind of sketchy. I say we go do some glaciers and uh, I think maybe. I found this river. I'm already lost. Maybe. We're departing Rainbow Lake to the south, also. Yeah. A firm up. Arrive and depart everything to the south. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm taxiing up kind of that right hand side up to the cabin and yeah. My brakes don't seem to work in the water. <laughs> I'll have maintenance take a look at that. Roger that. I might already be lost. <laughs> I did realize the Twin Otter does not have water rudders. Oh, it doesn't? Really? Anybody else getting a bunch of wind down here? Eh, not too bad. I don't have anything right now, so I'm kind of just nice and calm, which is cool. All right, let's clean up the uh, flaps here. We do need one notch in there. And I need to also, yeah, there we go, my trim. If you're flying uh, uh, one of the smaller planes so. over by Rainbow Lake, caution uh, mountain waves. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. That's putting way down that's Star Flyer, Larson Lake all the way and down. she is the new uh, the new addition to the group. And she's the one I was telling you about that uh, legit um, GA small aircraft kind of bush pilot. So it's great to have. Her expertise, and it was a lot of fun talking to her, getting to know her last night. I don't think so. Okay, then we'll I don't know if she's streaming or not. Mike, are you taking but, the, ridge, uh, the ridge route to the whatever it is? Uh, Rainbow. I'm currently going to the south, so I'm going Sheep River, and then I'm going to come up to the north to join the right. If you hug that ridge on the left, there's enough room for the, the right down. It's a little bit tight, though. That's what I figured, but I think it's easier than coming from the north and doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah, especially south. since, I mean, you could go direct, but then you wouldn't be doing a pattern. The short, first leg is really, really short. That's the yep. Larson leg right east of the airport, right? Or it's just get Correct. Over. Yeah, and the, yeah, nice thing about, the nice thing about going around the mountain to the south is it kind of lets departing traffic from Rainbow Lake kind of take that northern loop as they head towards the uh, Byers Lake. Yeah, that was my plan. Alright, so we're back up here near the cabin. So I'm assuming right down wind entry for uh, Rainbow Lake as well? Yep, all the lakes. Okay. It's a little tight on the right downwind, but yeah, just for consistency. Okay, and I assume we're landing south on every lake? Stay firm. Rainbow Lake traffic, Skyhawk Charlie Golf from the Off Yankees on the 45 entry to right downwind, right south down landing, down Rainbow Lake traffic. I think it's just because it's All right, the most my, for the first three lakes. Pelicans, and that was so frustrating. we're going to get ourselves up here as far as we can because this is, as you heard, a shorter lake without a doubt. These pelicans are hanging in the breeze. Well, I'm always a day late and a dollar short. I hear you. Sorry, those are seagulls, aren't they? Whiskey X-ray, you taking off that direction? 
No, just taxiing. Copy on that. All right, so I think there's a couple of us hey, up who's here. Who's in the cavern pass that's about to make a left turn to enter the downwind for rain? I think that's me. I think that's Mike Charlie. I'm along the river there. I'm right yeah. behind Mike Charlie. Uh, I'm, there's a zero one nine. I'm, I'm right in the valley too, by the river. I'm Rainbow in Lake there, traffic. Kodiak eight sixteen. We're on the north end of the lake. Uh, Getting ready for a departure to the south. Looks like we're number two for departure. Three, four, Quebec. Is that uh, cabin down on the south oh. end of the south? Oh. Right, I'm going to let you go ahead. You go ahead and swing around behind me and I'll follow you out. Roger. Rainbow Lake traffic. Skyhawk Charlie Golf Romeo Alpha Yankee is on a very tight right downwind for south landing. Rainbow Lake. You got to go over Rainbow there. Rainbow Lake traffic. Twin Otter, three Quebecs here on the right downwind for landing. Damn. Rainbow Lake. Pull the, uh, so there's a valley right here where I'm at that, 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 that I can go around. Uh, uh, Departing to the south. Uh, Here we go. Is that right? Am I on your right? Uh, uh, Rainbow Lake traffic. Uh, negative contact. That other traffic on the downwind. I see, I see you guys right Are you ahead. three Quebec Sierra? Yes. No, you're ahead of uh, me. You're Rainbow with uh, Romeo, Romeo Alpha Yankee. Is the other one you need to talk to. Oh. You probably. Yeah, you might. You should probably. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm number one on the downwind. I don't see anybody in front of me. Rainbow Lake traffic, Skyhawk 79, Juliet Whiskey. Uh, looks like number three for the departure, please taking off down the east side of the lake. Rainbow Lake traffic. All right, well, I don't want to cut in front of anyone, so. Three Quebec Sierra, maybe try and do a 180 and get in the Rainbow back Lake of the traffic, Kodiak 816. We're going to be left, and, uh... crosswind departure. Right, Rainbow. Yeah, we're like Bringing up uh, those turbo flappages turbo like we didn't do last time. Alright, the departure was a little better than the arrival. One nine. Everything land and depart south. So we're just going to kind of get clear of everything. And we want to head to the north west. Are you going to hang out there so at least there's a couple of us traveling together? Because <laughs> this is a uh, nine. Rainbow Lake traffic skyhawk traffic. Really over torquing. Is turning a tight right base. Right. South landing. Rainbow. Yes. Uh, it looks like you passed me on the so We could go. We could go that away and just make sure we're clear, but I think if we stay far enough here to the north, we'll be all right. I don't see anybody else over there, so I think we're all right. I get my... There we go. That's better power. Dude, I'm gonna have the whole lake to myself. I think you mean Fort Mike Charlie, but yes. Yeah, Fort Mike Charlie. <laughs> Talking about Rainbow Larson, Lake traffic, yourself? Kodiak 816. We're no. north of the no, no, lake 3500, departing to the I northwest. Be gone by the time I get. Rainbow Lake traffic, November 38, Romeo. So we should be well right. above. There we go. There's somebody. Yeah, yep, there we no, go. I don't believe it. It's airborne and on my way. Oh, that's cool. I'm pretty sure we just flew over. Who's making the right turn right now? Rainbow Lake traffic, Scott 79, Julia Whiskey. I'm on a uh, left. All right, so the, to the northwest. visual Rainbow waypoint, Lake. if it's Rainbow not Lake hidden, Lake. is actually Denali itself, but I don't Final. see it right, I right now. So You're right. we are just going to follow the right river drainages uh, here Rainbow that Lake. generally run to the southwest but we'll they'll get us to where we're trying to go turning rainbow uh, i think you're going to turn base inside of me again but that's all right i'll give you space man i'm so sorry i'll give you space <laughs> i really don't mean to cut anybody off i'm just really bad at spacing where's the cabin at, at this rainbow it's kind of the, the uh west, the west i'm sorry the east side the left side yeah north northeast you know, Mike, um, right. A to A is offering a free P40 if you want to fly that in the next uh, event. If somebody cuts you off, then you can kind of take them down. I don't use that FSX or P3D, though. Rainbow Lake, Husky 
Well, I don't know that I see Denali over so there, guys. What's your recommendation, guys? Should I overfly Larson or just head to the second lake? You've got time. Put her down at Larson. You've got plenty of time. Maybe a splash and go. Hey, you'll catch up with us fast because we're all kind of stacked up. I think what I may try to do. <clears throat> hey, Rob Collier, are you I could, still behind? I could sneak through this little area right here. Yeah, I was just looking for no, you. You were ahead of me. At my 12 o'clock. I'm like on the final low. Or I like can go down here and just stay along the uh, waterway here. I think the uh, I think the ceiling's high enough that I feel comfortable going here right now. And that keeps me on a, a pretty good 3-0-0 heading, which is kind of what I want. When we get past this high high point right here, we can make a decision on on where we want to go from there, but. Um, I think we're we're gonna have okay. plenty of clearance weather-wise to to just kind of make this a fairly straight leg. Rainbow Lake Husky one two four. My Charlie is on short final landing south. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting it. Kind of thinking maybe I should have stayed down there. That's okay. We'll stay up here. We'll get over the top of it, and we'll reevaluate. Robert, if you're making calls on <clears throat> Unicom, I haven't heard yet. Oh, yeah. I'm on Discord, but I forgot all about X-Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff happens. Rainbow Lake traffic at uh, Skyhawk uh, on short final one going around. Ran how fast is that Kodiak on floats? Rainbow Lake traffic, 1 out of 3. Connection. I'm actually making about 145 right now, surprisingly. Larson Lake traffic, uh, 149 Delta Lima entering a... Shoot, I'm actually... Pushing yeah, 150. Yeah, with a little bit of a scud run. And again, we just generally speaking, if you don't see Denali, you just kind of the terrain itself just kind of tends to guide you to the southwest. And uh, you, you go past down. the Susitina River, sorry, yeah. Susitna well, River, out of Larson Lake, uh, and about to take it's off. the I'll second my downwind major like, river, uh, the Chalutna, uh, that we're looking you. for. I see you. You look okay. I'm rolling now. I'm rolling now. You look okay. You can come on. Yeah, that that really what didn't. Saying, like, there's no enabled servers. Really didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> Essentially, I just the, went around the wrong side or the other side of this mountain is all, but that's okay. If I'm able to pick up Denali, I'll turn and head direct. If not, I'm just going to kind of stay in this general direction here. This will actually take us down pretty close to where we started at Talkeetna. Six Delta Fox tries, uh, nine Delta Lima, I have you in sight. I'm going to go ahead and extend my, uh, uh Maybe I'll just head for that little bit of a, it's not really a pass area. Uh, let's just take a, take a look hey, here. Hey, Brant, you accidentally clicked out the map the briefing. Can you just go and undo what you did? Click the undo button a few times. To so if there's uh, nobody here at Larson Lake, I think I'll just do a splashing. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Somebody says he's in the... In the Still forest. nobody gets my joke. Okay, never mind. Splash and go? Yeah. yeah. All right. I got you. I'm up here, here on the hill. I'm a like, uh, scout set of series of moving left base land south. Could have tried to pick my way through that, I guess, if I... No. Sure wanted to, but uh, that's all right. We'll just kind of keep going this way. We'll get around. The cabin is on the north. We'll get around this uh, little area. Now we can turn back to the north a little bit. We'll pick up. We'll pick up that. It's hard to show you on Sky Vector because it's all this weather. But we've essentially just just kind of come back down this little this little drainage, and we're going to end up. Like I say, just north of where we departed, but then we can just head up the uh, 
head up the Chilitna River, and um, Byers Lake is just right there. Ooh, 157. You drop a little altitude and you pick up some speed. Usually you don't with these big uh, floats on. They're like, uh, there's Larson Lake over there. You guys remember that, all right? I see a little uh, herring out there, too. It looks like it's something out there in the water. There's somebody at our six. <clears throat> and I think we can kind of start to make our way around here, you know, we could go clear down there, I guess, if we wanted to, but we can cut. The I don't know if anybody's there yet, but when I flew the uh, the route for practice, the uh, I noticed that you really have to climb very high on the fifth. Mm. Well, after a oh, is there lot somebody of out in front of me? That's a guy. The ground, but that's a guy I coming out top heat now. So I'm not sure I'm going to make my way. Or are you just leaving uh, to to keep now? Leaving uh, right now. Hey, okay. I, I'm, I just departed the first lake. If you want me to come back, so we can fly together. I'll, I'll go down to the. I'll come back and uh, pull up to the cabin. Rainbow Lake traffic. I have Carla got from the Alpine. He is so, lining up for a north-south uh, departure. Rainbow Lake. Are you going to skip the first lake and just join me at the second one, or do you want to land at at, the, at Larson? Larson's such a uh, I don't know. Are you 748 Hotel Sierra? Negative 149 Delta Lima. All right. Well, I got 748 Hotel Sierra in sight. All right. I have returned from my quick little bathroom break. Let's okay. I need to take a look here because what is buyers like? Oh, 816. I'm clear up here at 4,400. So that's. I need to lose a little bit of altitude. Uh, yeah, but uh, again, I'm looking for two major rivers that run essentially to the north. The first one we skip over. That is the Susitna River. And the second one is the one we want. The Chalitna River. Not seeing anything quite yet. What I am seeing is some thicker clouds starting to materialize so that may affect our it, yes. it may affect our uh, ability to make it up where we want to go here as far as the uh, the glaciers go but you know, again that's for me anyway that's part of the fun of flying up here is weather Was changes and you have to make decisions yeah you have, uh, Let's see what Mountain Active Lake. Sky is saying now. Overcast 7,500. Yep. And by the way, the ceilings have dropped to 7,500, guys. So you, I don't know if you're flying the the real world stuff still, but uh, we may have to uh, do a little bit of a a little bit of adjustment of glacier plans. So we are coming up on this this little basin here is that first it's the Susitna River. It runs straight north out of Talkeetna. So that's good. We're getting we're getting there basically is what that means. <laughs> but we need to I see a hill here that's important to us. We need to stay to the south of that hill. Byers Lake is right on the other side of this little hill here. Don't ask me what it's called. And we will need to say up here about probably 3,500 to, to get over this next ridge line. At least 3,000. I'm three Quebecs here. I just departed northbound. You're good. You can go. Yep, so the weather is, is moving in here, guys, and we'll have to 
kind of put it down on buyers and and again we'll make a we'll make a business decision we can take the buckskin glacier and not have to get all the way up to 10,000 to to pick our way through the glaciers but right now that's we need a thousand more than our ceilings are giving us so that may be just completely out of the uh, question we may just be out of luck no matter what there is another spot we could take the coffee river up and that only requires about six thousand eight hundred so that may be a, a plan b here for our uh, oh, yeah, glacier run. The West, man. The West, <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll follow you, Mike. Shit, I hope I make it. I come right behind you, Mike. Climb, baby, climb. Okay, so here we are again, just over the Susitna River. It's a sandbar fest down there if you ever want to come up in a in a bush plane i would definitely be tempted if i didn't have these floats strapped to the bottom yeah, but so is the uh chalitna river honestly okay so we're coming up right over the top of this hill actually we might be nope the the rounded the more rounded hills where we're where we're looking for here <clears throat> we can start to drop some altitude. Rainbow Lake traffic, Scott on Charlie Goff, Romeo Ave, Yankees, about three miles east of Bald Mountain, heading northwestbound, 4,500, Rainbow Lake. That's a good radio call. Hey, stay on that right side of the valley, Rob. Rainbow Lake traffic, Sky Hawk, 40019, 20 to the south, uh, like a left bound with departure of Rainbow Lake. That's good. All right, we're going to pick up this Chalitna River and head to the north, and we shouldn't have far to go. There is Denali kind of peeking through. We may be all right. We might be okay. <clears throat> There's our Chalitna River. And again, our lake is just going to be kind of right over the top of this, of this peak, so I really need to start settling down here. To, uh, I'm going up uh, Iron Creek. It's just a matter of how far south of the field did we end up. And maybe maybe we ended up actually north. Oh, maybe we're right on it. We may be right on it, guys. Holy cow. Who's eight hotels here? Yep, this is our lake. All right, that was that wasn't a bad little path to take. <laughs> so again, our our idea here we're we're now basically kind of on a right crosswind, and we're gonna just lose some altitude and some speed and right, enter a right pattern direction. and land <laughs> south. <clears throat> And again, as I'm looking at this, it looks it looks like maybe we yeah, can Chris, so give it a overhead. You're good. I'm give be it like, a look see. Go. I have done that in the past where I've went part way up the Ruth Glacier and I got turned around, and I'm not afraid to do that. That's not a bad deal. These are big enough glacier passes that you can do that. All right, we'll get here. Put a notch of flaps in there. Back and yeah, your wheels uh, there. Are we just passing over Briar? Because it seems like we're doing it. Who's uh, 748 Hotel Sierra? Alright, there we go. Fire Lake traffic. Kodiak 816, we're on the right downwind for south that. approach. Fire Lake? Fires. Sorry. Buyers. All right, so there we go. We're heading north. Don, oh, man, hello, you, man. None of them are working. How am I supposed to look at this? You have you? Oh, you saw that? Yeah, that was a fun flight in a fun plane. It is an absolute grizzly bear. 
and I love every minute of it. it. I can't wait to fly that plane again. It is so fun. So much to learn, but how cool is that plane? All right, cutting some more power here. Uh, actually, I need to just get the nose down. I don't want to get any lower than about 90. There's our lake. cabin is on this near side by the way so we'll land we'll just kind of hang a right and we'll be there Mark and Lake what did Captain I say we need about 800 Julia, yeah, 816 we're kind of cutting our our downwind off a little bit we don't want to do that no problem extending this a little bit Get ourselves down to about. Well, it's uh, going to be kind of hard to get an official event count when I can't see where everyone's at. I'll count for you. I still have uh, Vatastic up. Yeah, because Vat Spy's not working. Because our uh, 6,000 AGL reported at Talkeetna. My eyeballs are telling me a little different story. I'm rubbing noses with Denali, man. I think we could do it. I told Ralph that I went into the cabin at the first lake and I was going to bring him out a hot dog. You guys left some on the stove, thank you. But nobody put any of the dishes in the dishwasher left. <sighs> oh. There was no dishes. Not even dishes in the sink. Byers though. Lake traffic. Cody at 816, right base, south arrival, Byers. I think I'm probably going to take well, the buckskin route. You know what I mean. There's not, nobody washed the dishes. I used a paper plate. I always brought it, bring it, I brought it with me. Greta is upset. All right, I see some traffic here. Greta, like the team? Yes, the how dare you. How dare you. Paper plate, come on. She kind of annoys me. Kinda? Thoroughly. Man, I went right over that huge mountain. And now the I'm sky flies too, you can take the coffee river up there and that there's a little 6,800 foot uh, pass that you can take too if you want to do a little different run. Yeah, I know. traffic code at gate 16. We have the uh, traffic on the east. Up next to Eldridge. Yeah. Um, you know, if I wanted to do like seven five, I don't think I could make it through there. I think I'd probably have to climb up to ten, but I can probably. I know I can go through the Buckskin at seven five. Yep, there's there's ways to pick through there without getting all the way to ten. And well, buyers traffic, Kodiak eight sixteen, right turning final for south approach, buyers. I think it's, I would I would call it more broken at seven thousand five hundred than than just flat out seven thousand five hundred. Broken. Okay, I, that's where I'll defer to your knowledge, but it's not a hard ceiling here. I, I'm seeing all the way up to the top of Denali, so that's why I'm saying I don't I don't know that it's, Okay. you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what you would call that, though, in, in, in real life, so I'd be curious for your perspective on that. Well, uh, officially the rule is, so if you, like, break up the sky into, like, a pizza pie, if you have seven eighths of the sky covered at that level with cloud that would be considered a broken like a broken layer and that would be a ceiling um and then overcast would be eight out of eight gotcha okay that makes sense so it, it would not be legal to attempt this glacier is what you're telling me yeah yeah nope. all, all right here we go line. Final notch. It's cloudy or it's not cloudy. This uh, lake has a little more but definition hey, I mean, to it, which it is nice. It could look like perfect skies uh, to you. What am I gonna, you know, what can I say? Hey, Brant, which did you use for the orthos over here? Oh boy, just about put it on its nose, guys. I, I think I ended up with Google for these orthos, Mike. I'm not positive. Yeah, sure uh, I used the USA too, but I'm looking at your stream and yours kind of looked a little better. Probably should have went with Yeah, the, the Bing ones don't look overly great. Yeah, it's yeah, just hit, it's hit or miss. Not looking, not, there's some parts of it. Is that a twin otter? I'll never forget. 
number two for Byers Lake. That looks good, but it's a turbo on our number two for Byers Lake right now. Some down parts that are not, so I All right, I'll extend my down when you can go in in front of me if you'd like. I'm moving pretty slow. Oh, so wow. I'm dumping these tiles. Actually, it was your fun. I see you. Uh, so I'll stay behind you. Good and Byers traffic, Kodiak 816. We're hanging a right heading to the dock on the right side, Byers. Okay, so Skyflies, if I can see the top of that Denali, would I not be still at least 500 below the ceiling then if I'm at 10,000? Or is it is that just a gray area that you just don't push? <clears throat> so if you can remain clear of clouds, you're VFR. As long as you're 500 feet. Doesn't matter what the so, ceiling says. So, okay, so I guess what I'm getting... I'm getting a different story. Okay, so I'm getting a different story from Active Sky than what I think I'm seeing. So I guess what I'm saying is, as a real-world pilot, then would you be would you be legal to still fly that glacier, knowing that you're going to stay below Denali, which is below the clouds? So theoretically, you're going to be several thousand feet. Cloud clearance stuff. It's your best judgment. You know, it's it's hard to to say, yeah, that's exactly 500 feet. You have to use your best judgment. I have a downwind sim uh, tape measure. I can get the exact distance. Hmm. <laughs> if you're not in a cloud, you're VFR. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to head that way, and I guess, if nothing else, I can give you a little bit of a report for what it looks like, um, and then you guys can kind of make your decision based on that. And I have no problem flying part way up and turn it around too if I have to. All right, so we're taxiing back to the. Uh, Should have went with the Google Ortho, man. A couple of these tiles are a little rough. Uh, back to the to yeah. north end yeah. of the runway. This one, no, technically, you're so pretty close. US like there is a little bit of a spot. That's ah, probably hard to see. Let me pull the flaps up here. There's a little spot out that way that a guy could probably sneak out if he really needed to, but you, you're at Rainbow Lake? I don't need it's to be. Either. I'm not in a big hurry right now. Uh, ah, there we go. Comes traffic Byers into Byers. Turbo Otter is turning <laughs> final for South Atlantic. Well behind uh, Julia. Okay. Byers Lake, uh, Skyhawk November 516, Delta Foxtrot. We are in the right downwind. Byers Lake. So we're going to have to wait. We'll let this guy. We've got another guy on I have final. No idea if I'm, going the right way. I'm trying to cut the. Uh, uh, I'm trying to cut my power back so I don't just drift right into the middle of everything. Because I'm like up at six thousand. We don't want to do that, but uh, the autopilot is is in weird place. Yeah, it is. It's down here, and it's like. Well, you could use either one of these two, I, I guess. But I probably should have done that. I probably should have gone up over towards the Chilitna River. Yeah, I'm taking the All right, there comes the final. To the We're just going to try to hang out here and not get in the way, basically. I'm basically just following the Talkeetna and just kind of hugging the those, like, a little bit higher terrain that's to the yeah. north. I think I'm heading towards that cabin. Just, you know. Yeah, it'll take you almost oh, right straight you know, back to the original really airport. Brad, uh, you use a P3D or X plane? I, I'm in X-Plane. What's the second lake called? The Rainbow second lake Rainbow. is Rainbow Lake. Oh, okay. Fires Lake traffic, Turbo Otter is inverted and, and drowning. Oh, uh, no. Never mind the wreckage. Just <laughs> <laughs> That's two airframes. <laughs> I just about did that, too. That's two airframes. Scrambling the sea dews. Yeah, we got a little air pocket in here. Fires <laughs> Lake... Kodiak 816, uh, we're at the north end, uh, ready to uh, depart, but I, I'd like to know where the uh, approaching traffic is. Mike, you going to make a left track? Dragon 1, Fire Lake on uh, final. Uh, no, you should make a right traffic. Right. If you come from the, a different... Dragon Lake, we'll uh, extend our downwind before we turn base. We're right behind you. Know. you. I'm going to try to turn around and again uh, just kind of get all the way out of the way here. I think I'm far enough to the right where I'm not going to cause a problem, but I'm just going to kind of keep. I'm like lost. Keep over here on this uh, right hand side. I see that decapitated aircraft. 
seven, eight o'clock, six miles. Fires Lake, Skyhawk, November 516, Delta Fox, front, returning okay, base to final. I'm cruising low. Fire, fires Lake. 2,500 feet. Oh, there it comes. Oh, I, I guess I wasn't out of the way. <laughs> Is that you way up there, Mike? You're yeah, I'm all the way at like 65. I'm starting to just send back down again. Yeah, Byers Behind, Lake. Uh, like Kodiak 816, we're just going to kind of uh, hang out here at the north end and let the uh, two planes no land. No, it looks Byers. like Mike's ahead of most of the other people. C Gray is behind Mike, and then is it 4,419 4, is behind. MIX plane real weather ceiling just dropped to 7,800. Yeah. I'll go Pathfinder on you guys. I'll let you know what it, what it looks like up there. I just hope I can find this. Uh, this One, two, lake. three, four, five, six. I think I found the Sustina River. Seven, eight, so I just nine, need to ten, go over 11, that 12, 12, 13, 14. There, and then I think I'll find the. I'm seeing 14. Well, there's two rivers. 15. Right? That kind of go north. Here comes our traffic Fire on lake final. Traffic resurrected. Turbo water is taxing to the north end for departure <laughs> to the south. Number three. So this has to be the Sustina River that I'm over. So I think I found where I'm at. Yeah, it looks about right, Mike. Sustina River. You can't turn it all along the water. Yeah, Sustina, you want to you want to go over the top of the Sustina and you want to go to the next one. Yeah, so I think I I'm no longer lost. Whew. Okay, so I think there's one more guy coming in here. Fires Lake traffic, Skyhawk traffic off from me off Yankee. It's about one zero miles southeast inbound. I'll be crossing up in the midfield for the right downwind. Fires Lake traffic. So she's down there, out of the way. Fires Lake, uh, Skyhawk 516 Delta Foxtrot, we are clear. Fires Lake. All right. I'll wait for what? I think there might be one more guy coming. I'll wait for the call. If not, we're going to go. Byers Lake traffic, Kodak 816, we're on the roll, south departure, and uh, we'll be making a right-hand departure, Byers. All right, here we go. How fast are you going, Mike? 120 indicated. Whoa. Take some time to get a little bit of speed built yeah, up so with this, this turbine. It's kind of crazy. You definitely river. don't okay. want to over-torque it unless you want a full cockpit full of engine smoke yeah, probably not you have a banjo on your knee <laughs> fires lake traffic skyhawk Charlie got from me off yankee has that traffic uh crossing the sustina at 12 o'clock in front of us fires lake just gently nudging the power forward You have a notch of flaps in. This USA 2, it's hit or miss. There's some of the tiles, that are like some of the sections of the tile look great, and then some of the sections of the tile look. Should have just went with Google. Yeah. You'll, you'll see, find that with all the providers. Even Google yeah. has the same way. I got like some of them snow, and all of a sudden it changes to green. And Alaska is just notorious for that. It's one of the worst areas. Okay, let's bring the flaps up. We're looking around for traffic. I don't see anybody coming that way. I don't see anybody over there. Let's get over the hill first. Departing the lake to the south with the right crosswind departure and following the river to the north. Byers Lake traffic. Byers Lake, Kodiak 816, we're right crosswind departure to the north. Byers Lake. Actually, to the west, and then we go north. Boy, my sky vector is okay, having some trouble. All right, well, I guess oh, here Jeff, we go. I see you in front of me now. Let's, right, uh, you then. let's stay well so away right from the lake because I've got people in here trying to fly patterns, yeah, and we just need to stay away. Let's get going up the yeah, Chalitna sure here, and uh, sure all we need is about 13 miles, Let's and we'll see the the Ruth Glacier. No, there's one in front of that. This right here is actually the Coffee River, and a guy can go up there and catch a little bit of some glacier action 
and uh, you know that that ceiling looks just fine. Yeah, I'm just about to cross over that one as well. Okay, so we've got everything. Let's just take a look from the outside yeah, view and see how cool it looks. Oh, that's so awesome. Whoops. How do I... Traffic on the lake. Traffic coming in. That's way awesome. Oh, my livery switched. I'm not the only one having issues with, uh, with uh, that spy. I counted 15 on Vatastic, but that seems a little bit low to me. Yeah, I think the data servers are down. That's why Vatspy is not working. I think. Myers Lake, uh, Skyhawk, November 516 Delta Foxtrot, departing to the south. Oh, the King Air autopilot, Don. Yeah, no, no, no. That is crazy. Yeah, that's you're looking clear I down and. Be the Discord and I can yeah. In the Discord. That takes some getting used to. There's. I have the same problem with the the DC-8 and the L-1011. It has all that stuff way down low. and my, my only thought, don't you think, Don, is that they just got used to kind of reaching down there and just by feel they knew where everything was because you, you certainly can't be doing this all day long. See, this one looks good in the, the ortho. The other one didn't. And my ortho, the first, like, Larson Lake is the... the uh, was iced over its cap. All right, 1700 on the turbine and 22 on the uh, RPMs there. 98 and a half. But we are making good 110 knot climb here, so what we're looking for again is the Eldridge Glacier. If that's not good, we've got before that the Buckskin Glacier. But the main thing we're looking at is just our ceiling here. Oh, there's a little Ooh, boy. road right here just to the north of the lake. Or so the, it's uh, like it uh, looks good for a minute, and then it doesn't look so good for me. We're at 4,000 feet, and it's starting to get a bit soupy. But that's... So to do a right kinda traffic, kinda there be, are buyers from where we're coming. We're just going to fly over the middle of the lake and then enter. It's going to kind of be my role here, yeah, I think, much. is just to try to, just to try to see what it really truly looks like, so everybody can make, make a wise decision. Interesting how that scenery, the, the clouds flicker the shadows and stuff on those mountains. Yeah, GE Force Game Driver. I thought I disabled you. Pilot traffic, Skyhawk. At 3,500 over the lake, going to enter the right downwind of Byers Lake. See, the, the, I fly Just both the DC-8 right and the TriStar the in, um, in P3D, the and they're, the they're both, I think, or the, uh, south end of the lake, rather. pretty, pretty I decent. Fight, I mean, not quite study level, I but definitely make you... Make you work a little bit, right but the DC-8 yes. for sure is a little easier to fly for me. The L-1011, the, the TriStar is is a tricky. Guys left. There's one guy it's on a the tricky and flight. One guy on Actually, I don't. I do pretty well with the TriStar until I'm trying to land it, and then I just I just tend to not get the speed and the power right on approach, and it just becomes a flying brick. In fact, my last stream in it, I. You can do your did going a, pretty much right over this road here. Really terrible job on my approach and put it down in the forest short of the runway. I wish they had something similar on yeah, uh, in the X plane world, but they just they just don't. Okay, guys and gals, I think we're getting close. Let's see. There's the there's the Buckskin. If you wanted to go up Buckskin Way, you could go there. That doesn't look too bad. Here comes Eldridge, and we're, uh, what are we, 6,200? And we're getting a little bit soupy. But still have really good contact with the ground, and I feel like I have room over the top here to, to go. But where is... Who's the 748 Hotel Sierra? Where is this... Ceiling. That's Ralph, I believe. 
I think he's muted because he's streaming and uh, has his VR stuff on, but I'm, that's Ralph Kuhn. Are you just good running up there, Brent? He's up one channel if you want to go up one channel. <laughs> it's, I'm actually at, I'm climbing through 7,100 and uh, it, it's looking okay. It's I don't know how much higher I can go, but you for sure can make the buckskin right now. Um, but I'm heading up the, the Eldridge just to check it out. So, yeah. So the the MSA in this in this area I know is 126, but I found a little a little way through up here that if I can get 10,000 I can get uh, I can get in and out. Oh boy, but I'm getting now. Ah, there it is. Dang it. Eight thousand. There it is. Shoot. Well, that's now we know, I guess, right? <sighs> I'm gonna. I'll go a little further. I I have a lot of room to turn around, and I'm clear of the terrain. And let's just see. <laughs> VFR to IMC, right? That's the killer. The nice thing, though, again, about this about this little. Well, this glacier it's just several miles across so it's not it's nothing just to make a just a basic procedure turn and I'll just head back to the south I'll stay to the right I wasn't doing a very good job of that but I'll get on the right hand side get myself pointed to a, a direction where I know I'm clear of the terrain and again I'll just try to nudge it up and let's see let's see how high we go eight thousand was what we had last time Let's see if anything's changed Old in the last minute or two. I could, if I had to, I could cut it right here too. Honestly, yeah, you know, there's you can see the clouds pulling in here. I think that's what we're gonna have is 8,000 hard hard top at 8,000. It's a little suspicious if FSX even has this lake in here. Yep, here it is. That's bigger than the other one. I'm sitting on it right now. Yeah, I think that's our hard top is hey, is eight thousand. Yep, yeah, there it is. All right, I'll bring it back down, and we're gonna just try to sneak it through. Okay, pilots, uh, Pyrep from Eldridge Glacier. We've got a hard top at eight thousand, but I am uh, I'm on the buckskin route, and that is uh, definitely doable. You need seventy five hundred. To pick your way through, but Eldridge Glacier is a is a no go with real weather. Fire traffic, Skyhawk Charlie Golf, Romeo Yankees turning right base, south landing. Fires. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer because no, you no can. No go, Eldridge. A firm. Yeah, you can see yeah, what's up I'm, there. I'm getting up and up and down. but you Your do turn. need you do need every bit of ten thousand. You can't quite see it, but. Just up through here, around the, the corner here, you just it gets a little bit high. So you're able to make a left up there, Brant, and get over to uh, the buck? Yeah, about halfway up, um, there's a little bit of a, a, not a pass per se, but the terrain is still low enough that you can turn. I'm at 7,300, and I'm well clear of everything here. All right, I'll follow you up that way. It looks pretty good. There's a Airbus in the lake. Is that you, Mike? Yeah, it's probably me. There's two lakes. Beautiful. Fire Wonderful stuff. Let's get some let's get some selfies here, you know, just in case we need something for the uh, old stream. Yeah, and that's like I said, it's a little bit of a bummer there. But better safe than sorry here. The buckskin though definitely doable. And, and this is a nice this is a tighter glacier. little glacier. You can um, go up Aldridge, you just gotta make that left cut a short a little bit. Yeah. Fires like traffic. Sky trolley off from me off here. He's turning final. Fires. There's some pretty impressive spires. I think seventy three hundred No El Eldridge Eldridge you're gonna need ten thousand. Um <laughs> but Buckskin 
Buckskin you can get by with uh, 7,500. Right, we'll right, right. Now let's. Who knows? I mean, right, the weather right, can off? move in, and you never yep. know. But Quick I'm actually going to go down. We might be okay with seven thousand. I think up just a little bit around the corner here is when it gets to seventy-five hundred. So who's the one that just landed on uh, on Rainbow? Up, Sean, I see you in the down one while I'm I'm getting tossed right around up here. It's windy, as you might expect up in these these mountains. This terrain, the yeah, uh, wind just Ralph and, rolls. Yeah, in front of me, and I'm leaving now. And uh, uh, if you want to join us to unclutter the frequency, we're uh, up on that other channel, 123.45 in the... Roger. Yeah, we should have had that set up probably, and that would have been a smart, smart plan. But that's okay. It's still been fun. Yep, FSX is not in tune with this lake. Again, if we had to, had to, had to, we could slice it across here. The Ruth Glacier is just over the top there. But I'm going to try to take it up a little bit further. Yeah, maybe not. Gosh. Tempting. Tempting. Am I going to need another 300 to get around that horn here? I think 75 should be fine. I'm going to take it up around and just get a little closer to that, to that big spire there that's partially obscured. Problem is you don't have as much wiggle room here, so you want to make sure that you're not <laughs> getting yourself into a into a pickle. So, so if I we're think gonna we're do okay. the buckskin instead, you basically just take that first river that squiggles to the uh, northwest instead of going up the rest of the way there. I yeah, make sure you get a little bit north of the lake because the very there's another river that comes out of there called the Coffee River. Which is also fun, but the, yeah, the buckskin is a little bit. Oh, no, I'm not, yeah. I'm pointing north still, so I see where I'm going. I am not lost this. <laughs> for now. All right, so I think we can crest. We may not even need so 7,500 here. We might 7,000 oh, might be good, and which is probably good because the, the ceiling looks like it's dropping a little bit on us. But uh, that's glacier flying in Alaska, right? You're right. That's I was just noticing that, Don. How good are these uh, floats on on snow? Basically the same concept, isn't it? I think all I need to do is get around this little this little mountain side. I'm surprised their airframe right. count is only two so far, to be honest with you. Guys. Well, I think I had two myself. Oh, did you wait? Did you? Then that would technically put the count to four. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can first, tell you uh, the first two landings I nosed in. Yeah, I'm getting buffeted pretty good over here, buck skin. Yeah, it's rough up here, guys. I've actually found a little way through the top of buckskin where I'm at 6,800 is all. So you're you're fine visibility wise. Last lake is Swan Lake, a firm. That's that after is, buyers, right? There's Correct. There's not even any snow on my freaking USA 2 ortho. Really? Mine looks nothing That's like crazy. Brand. Oh, wait a second. Am I boxed? No, I don't think I'm boxed. Am I boxed? Am I yeah, flipping I boxed Google, here, Don? Did I just fly to my death? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness, Don. What have I... Oh, there we go. We've got a little... A little escape here, I think. Oh boy, Don, what have My I done? As as what have I have. done? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh baby. <laughs> that was kind of fun, actually. This is Doug, uh, Nine Delta Lima. Uh, who was it that was just departing the, or just uh, landed behind Ooh, us? Oh uh, baby. At Rainbow Lake, yeah, that was kind the of three fun. of us, you, myself, and Ralph. All right, now uh, where the heck am I? I'm bringing up the rear. I was wondering where the if you heck am I? In another channel, just to keep I'm heading east. I don't want to head east. I kind of got turned around now. Oh, I, I got to go back, get back on track here, and find where the heck I'm going. Way up there. 
Yes, oh, yes, that's me. Should be going. Yep. I want to go yep. north. Brant, how was the, the pucker factor on that one there? <laughs> Fun. All right. I... Wait a second. I might be where I'm, I need to be. Nope, that's I not watched, it. I just All watched right. Brant almost die on his stream. <laughs> Even I had a little bit of pucker factor, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Don Shap told me I was good to go, so I trusted his judgment. You missed the stream of his the other day when he was uh, almost lost, looking for banana trees. Good lord, I was more than almost lost. I was 40 minutes lost. All right. Yeah, I watched that one. Here is Ruth. My favorite stream. I found I Ruth. Thank goodness. All right, down we go. Yeah, I'm bummed I don't have snow. Down I, we I go to the, the south. And it looks nice, but it would look so much better if it was snow capped like you. Okay, so my secret pass there right, through 7,800, it does require a bit of an aerobatic maneuver, but uh, it is doable. Okay, I'm climbing. Although I see the clouds coming in, oh boy, ceilings are getting lower. They are Look indeed. At my picture. It's a teeny tiny um, window. I'm seeing head. now. Oh, boy. Active Sky is now seeing overcast 6,000. And I I think you still have 7,500 up at the top there, but uh, at least 7,500. Well, it's not looking so good now as I'm entering in the buckskin. I'm taking the coffee river. Who's entering the buckskin? <laughs> I just started into the buckskin too, but I'm still on the river part. You might be ahead of me. Yeah, this is uh, six Delta Foxtrot. Things definitely change. I mean, you you. Are you up in the glacier already? You might be ahead of me. A farm. We're currently uh, around 73. So there's several ways through there, guys. I mean, there's no like, there's no pass per se. You, you just kind of pick and pick and choose, and um, you know, so you can pretty well take it up as far as you feel comfortable, and then start start heading to the uh, to the south and and over to the Ruth. You know, so you you just kind of again, you just kind of pick your poison and and find the route that looks good. I'm losing my ceiling. Husky's not really feet. having this climb right now. So I think we made it. We didn't make it there, obviously. I think we made it about right. I think we probably made it about yeah. right here. No, I don't think I can make it. Which I'm is, uh, which is pretty close. You know. And, and it looks like maybe we just we made it right at the nick of time here too, because those it's guys behind us. Look pretty hazy out there. Yeah, it, maybe it's closing in behind me here, guys. I maybe I just got lucky. Yeah, I'm probably going to head up to the ultra to entrance. No, 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 no. We're not, we're just like over there. We're flying through it, Sean. We're not landing. Up. Yeah, another we're thing just, you can do that's not bad is take it about halfway up the down, Eldridge right? and then turn south and kind of, or sorry, halfway up the Buckskin and turn south and come down the Coffee River there. That's that's a nice little flight too. You kind of catch the the uh, eastern edge of those glaciers but still still pretty cool and then you can still kind of come over and catch about the last half of the ruth glacier just remember yeah. inadvertent imc just keep the wings level i love the yeah mike charlie uh, everybody i'm coming out uh, i'm going up the bucket i'm coming out of the glacier the i really should have myself closing. over on the right hand side engine anti-ice is what do I right, have? I'm just getting into the. Uh, I made it through the buckskin. Uh, yeah, engine uh, right inlet at the top bypass. Of, uh, great gorge. Surface prop is. Ooh, I was I able to make a hard on. left around that 10,000 foot peak and make it. Went to the right of the heart, the big 10,000 foot peak and then turned left. Yeah, it may be minute by minute, I guess, difference. Um, yeah, so, I had so about be a 300 safe. foot. Sounds had like a 300 real. foot window to shoot. Yeah, had a 300 foot window to shoot through. I don't care what you say, Melvin. This is pretty country up here. It's definitely, definitely a magical place. So, Don, I think I do have the engine anti-ice on. I, I'm not Should've super familiar. 
so, not super familiar with the anti-icing system, but I've got everything turned on. Windshield on, pump one is on. I don't need the light. I've got the surface. Is there, are, if you're familiar with this plane and there's something else I need to turn on, absolutely. Uh, cheating and not using the real weather. Absolutely let me know. So we need to get ourselves down here. The, the last lake is Swan Lake at 640 feet. It yes. works up here at 3,500, so we're still... Somebody pass me up because I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> There's still plenty. If it, when you hit the glaciers, That's guys, if if worse comes to worse, just turn back to the south and you'll get back on that Chalitna River and, and be just fine. You gotta love those like sudden X plane weather loads. Oh gosh. Yeah. That's oh good. yeah, that's not good. No, nah, it's garbage. I should have went with Google. We're getting shoved over next to that side there that's kind of oh, wow. crazy I can't see. how oh, much are we God. yeah i was at 65, somebody up ahead of us four, I was in clouds. we're even turn running break, into a little bit turn, of this haze turn, down turn, here turn, too break, so that final, that is kind of cool where it'll it'll be patchy and there'll be spots where it's thick down low and and then uh I might It'll have been more up. than I can chew here. <laughs> yeah, I'm back in. I got Okay, guys and gals. So we need we need to find one more here and then head back to Talkeetna and uh, we can call it a successful flight. So this is definitely, you know, the the lake is the big challenge. Like, let me tell. Right, let let me say this. It's not horrible, Brant, the one that I have, but it's certainly not as good as what you're looking. Yeah, it's just trial and error up here, and uh, and you, you and like like Steve said, you're gonna find that in a lot of different spots. But uh, you know, now that you know what you know, it's it's pretty easy to to modify and adjust, and you know you'll get it figured out. So this is a nice long lake, and we actually will be coming straight in. Straight so this, this is a nice area. we will uh, we'll cross over midfield. He's not really doing too well and enter a right downwind actually we may just enter i think i'm going to go down that coffee river i think we might may just stay to the uh east of the oh, lake and then we enter a right cross coffee. uh right crosswind yeah. i think this is our lake here let me just make sure yeah maybe not the first lake that we hit on the way out is not the one we want. no this is not the one we want we need to get down yeah, a little bit further. Near, near, anywhere near me. Yeah. Um, I, and I think that's... I just came out of Eldridge. Honestly, I think that's what you have. Right. Over to Buck's game. Okay. Yeah, that's not the lake we want. Our lake is over here a little bit more. Tough to see with the... The tops came down on me at the Eldridge. I had back out. Tough to see with the haze here. I think this is the coffee river. I'm gonna follow this. Man, I think the ceilings down here on the river are like lower than they were up on the, the glacier, guys. You, you don't mean that that tap was correct, do you? Boy, I don't know. It's I'm I'm running into worse haze and fog down here now that I'm kinda coming out of the south end of the roof than I did up on the top. Might have to find a place to land up there then. <laughs> uh, spend the night in your airplane. Fun. I'm at the mouth of Eldridge at 6,000, and I've got at least one zero miles fizz, and I guess the ceilings are around 7.5. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's just a little bit thicker down here south, uh, closer to Talkeetna. Yeah, I got you. I got you, uh, Mike. You're. Uh... All right, so that looks like maybe a lake over there. This looks like maybe a lake out in front. I think this is our lake. Seems like I remember this little bit of a hill. You know, I think that's where we need to go. I'm back taxiing on virus. Oh, I see you there, Jeffrey. All right, 1,500, that'll be good. That's about pattern altitude. 
Actually, you're supposed yeah, to, I think down. when you enter, you're supposed to be 500 above. Let me climb back out here and we'll get some flaps in that way. Lake traffic. Turbo Otter 740 Hotel Sierra is just east of the field at uh, 3000 and we're going to be landing to the south. There's our friend, Downwind Sim. He got himself a Turbo Otter having a bunch of fun with that sucker. All right, there's 2,000, and pull back the power just a bit here. <coughs> Put a notch on the uh, on the upwind here. Actually, I might just level it off right here. Okay, so Swan Lake, this is Rob, what we have. Keys. Oh, oh, what's that, Mike? Uh, Rob Marcinic, which one did you use for the... Uh, which one? What scenery is that? Uh, I don't know, what's the Orbix. Yeah, Swan Lake traffic, Orbix, Kodiak 816, uh, we're uh, about uh, two miles north of the airfield. We're going wow. to, so uh, another, we're going to enter the pattern on a mine. right upwind for south arrival, Swan Lake. Melvin, how was the how was the weather up in the mountains? Oh, yeah, I so I good. made it about halfway up the uh, the buckskin and then had to cut it's across. I wasn't able to get all the way up to the top. <laughs> I had a hard ceiling at eight thousand, um, and uh, was okay. Uh, yes. I made the rest of the uh, the crossing at about seven. Yeah, that does look way nicer than mine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but I don't know where I'm at. Fire Lake, we're. Uh, Turbo Otter 8 Hotel Sierra is on about a three mile final landing to the south at Byers. All right. So that that's our lake for sure. We're in good shape there. No, nah, we're just all and scattered at this point. Swan Lake traffic. Turbo Otter uh, loss of power, dead stick landing. That was Swan gonna, lake, uh, oh no. direct into the south. That was always going to happen. That was. Run out of fuel, Steve. No, I had an engine failure. I've still got plenty of gas. Oh, yeah, Swan Lake traffic, five. Kodiak 816. We'll say uh, well out of the uh, the pattern here for you. Oh, I got some time, Brad. I'm uh, a couple miles out yet. Moving slow. I want to be just close enough to watch you pull that off. <laughs> Roger that. We'll try and put on a good show. <laughs> Swan Lake, Kodiak 816. We are on the right crosswind for south arrival. Swan Lake. Pretty cool. All right, the the cabin is right down here at this end of the lake, so it's it's really nice. You land you land heading essentially straight toward the cabin, which is kind of nice. We're not doing anything in Ruth Glacier, right? No, you're just flying through it, going back down south towards uh, what's the Swan? Yep. So when you get out of when you get down out of the Ruth, you're gonna there's gonna be a, a lake. That's immediately there. You want to skip over that first lake and keep going down to Swan. Should everyone just stop at the lake? Okay. Or isn't that a tour place place to meet up in the, in the airport? Swan Lake traffic. There he is. Otter is a dead stick, a short final. Looks like we're going to make it. Oh, I see Juliet Whiskey. Kodiak has the traffic ready to assist. Is possible at 7,004. Buckskin, right? You don't even need to go that high, apparently. Like uh, uh, All right, there's Steve coming in. No engine power. Dead stick in it, but he's got the field made. Buddy, you got this. You got this, Steve. You got that, buddy. You 
got it. You got it. Swan Lake traffic, Kodiak 816, right base to final south approach. Fires. Uh, sorry, Swan Lake. I found the lake. It's I'm out high. In the distance I'm with way my high. Holy cow. But I found it. I'm screwing up my approach here. I'm too high, I'm too fast. Try to keep my nose up here and bleed some speed. Luckily, we've got a nice long lake. And. So, is it first lake on the right out of route? Is that where we're heading, guys? No, the first lake you want to pass over. You want the second lake. Traffic 9 Delta Lima now turning uh, final to land. Yeah, and uh, about a 160 heading, I think, should get you down there. Oh, I'm still lost. Okay, copy. So on Lake Traffic, Skyway 7 I Joe, Whiskey 6 to the north, uh, direct entry to the south. Swan Lake. Oh boy. Swan Lake Traffic, uh, Turbo Otter, we, we made it unanchored by the Pelican. Right now, All right, we're looking a little bit better now. We did have to bleed off some speed and lose quite a bit of altitude, but we were too busy watching Steve. Oh, here comes the rain. Whoa. All right. Let's find the see river. if we can do a better job with a little home. bit better texture on the water. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, that was my best approach yeah, yet. Ceilings came down on me. I, I backed up. And Swan Lake, uh, Kodiak 816, we're swimming. Oh, so that's officially uh, frame number Dang five. Dang it. All so right. I don't think it's Steve. Did you crash? No, I actually uh, made it. Yeah, yep, I made so it down five, right. Swan Lake. Gosh darn it. I'd come out and help you, but I, I got no engine power, so uh, <laughs> best to you. That's okay. I uh, finished fourth in the Olympic trials in 1986. As a wrestler? Because I, I thought I saw a belt behind you <laughs> on one of your streams. <laughs> I have a canoe. I just can't figure out how to get it off the standpoint. <laughs> All right, where do I need to go? Uh, we there we go. Uh, Spawn we here. Required, uh, this could be interesting. Swan Lake, Sky Lake, okay. I don't. I have no idea what this is going to look like when I respawn. We'll find out. Uh, on final for us. All right, there we go. Tag on it, guys. So close yet so far. Yeah, not gonna lie, guys. I'm going straight into Swan Lake. I don't think I'm gonna. All right, everything. Only. Anchors deployed. I can see there's nobody in front of me. Wes is way, way up there. Shoot, so close, and uh, like I'm I said, I think that was well. the that was the best looking approach I had. But what I think I did, and what I have a tendency to do, is well, I is I USA keep too. the nose Probably too high, and then my angle, I hit those back skis, and it just rolls you forward instead of hitting it. You know, you don't want anyway you don't want to be here. Then. You want to be yeah. here, and that's that's still what I'm working on. But you know what? That's okay. Little, Ooh, uh, gosh, I got right pelicans. Here. I'm on the boat dock now. Holy cow! Dogs and cats living together. And, uh, whatever it is. All right, everything's off. Landing lights is turning off. Mike, how far are you out on Swan? I'm looking for your traffic. Um, okay. Do I need to turn? If I had to eyeball it, I think I'm like 10 right. out from Swan. Yeah, Maybe turn closer. my fuel back on. Okay. Probably about Power. Ox pump heading. on. Ignition on, starter low motor. Let's see what happens here, boys and girls. See if she turns. Yes. I might be stuck on the uh, Where are you boat dock here. Oh, Je actually, it looks like Jeffrey's high, but he looks like he's in front of me. I'm gonna take my the left anchor off high. and just see if I can shake loose. Yeah, I got no idea how to pass you. Because I descended super low as soon as we came out of the glacier. I might be stuck on the dock here. <laughs> The the uh, pelicans have nerves of steel, what? guys. Romeo, keep yeah, where are you going? All right. Going Bus is coming on. Jens are on. Turn the starter ignition ox here. pump off. Yeah, I got you. I'm flying about 600. Let's do. Oh, I forgot to turn the beacon on. Me? 
Jeez, Luis. Yeah, I'm just setting this, up. This could be a mess. Oh, my gosh. That's a, there's a picture yeah, for you. That is a picture that sums up the day. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get off of this. Guys, may, I might be tipping over here. Okay. Wow. The more I go, the more I lean, the worse it looks. Oh my gosh, what? I don't, and I have no control, like nothing. Fawn Lake, Husky 124, Mark Charles, about 5 North Street, and for the South Landing, Fawn Lake. Oh boy, oh boy. Am I over? I what am I, what is here. going on here? Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> I see you, and you are pretty high, so. <laughs> oh, okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Well, I think I'm Holy at Swan Lake. Crap, I'm getting some it. snow now. I okay, flight config. I just made it over the mountain. Um, okay, we got to be faster getting the engine started because that, if, oh, and I'm going to have to do a different. Maybe I have to change locations here. Swan Lake. Maybe if I get on the other side of the, maybe if I start over here. Try Ralph's spot, see if it's any better Swan for us. Traffic, uh, oh my goodness. So Alright, let's the not lake. mess around. The... Off, off. That's on. Oh, let's get the fuel turned on. We gotta get the heck out of this death trap. Ox pump. I think you can make that, Jeffrey. Ignition. Starter low. Yeah, spinning, spinning, spinning. I've got the seagull not happy with me. There's 12. Where's my dock? No, don't get over there. Don't get over there. I'm taking the anchor off. Stay away. Stay away. Come on, baby. Let's just get out of here. Just taxi out. Just taxi out. That's all I want. There we go. Okay. Whew. Sorry about that, uh, Seagull. All right. That was not optimal. I don't have anything going. Ox, buses, aviation, or avionics bus coming on. Holy Moses. Swan Lake was my downfall. Okay. Beacon, strobe, nav, taxi, landing. It's all coming on, my friends. All coming on. Pedo. All coming on. Somebody feels sorry for me and they followed or something. That was hilarious. That was the that was the comedy show of the night. I, I'm a taxi up here, and I'm supposed to stay to the right. So let me let me get myself to the right here. What's going on back in the channel? Sorry guys, I've lost track. I've lost control of the stream. Bobcat20, thanks for the follow. Uh, your standards are obviously very low. Either that, or you really enjoy the comedy hour. That was hilarious. <laughs> Bet I can't do that. I had to make again. up for all that lost time that it stopped working. <laughs> oh, I just hope they. I hope I I'm out of here before they discover moving, the damage you know, the I did to the to the, moving, uh, the pier the there. Isn't changing. You know, none of the, none of the gauges. Oh my gosh! I think I killed a seagull, wrecked a boat dock. I think I did pretty uh, good. There, good like lord! Who knows? There's also like some uh, like some canoes and stuff up there that I probably knocked over. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! Let's get the heck out of here, guys! Wow. I believe it's all the way at the south end of the lake. That was okay. something else, guys. Uh, so close. I could have been back at Talkeetna right now with the hot chocolate, telling stories of uh, how I conquered the Denali Challenge. But no. The Swan Lake traffic, Kodiak 816, we're on the back taxi uh, up the right hand side of the lake swan lake gears are landing traffic's right yeah which right i see all the aircraft on the lake i'll be fine guys before my trolley will be clear i guess if i'm going to do this let's let's pull up a livery that's uh ready to go yeah and i should have i should have specified my right not the uh landing traffic's right that is correct 
So uh, technically, this would be the, I guess, the east side of Check the lake. Check it out. Freaking, I don't want to post this picture. <laughs> ah, no, it's okay. <laughs> My pedo covers are on. I hope not. I, I want the oh, pedo no, heat on. Man. I think I have everything else. Surely I don't need any anti-ice for this last little 10-mile stretch. I what do I have here? You why do I have a... Why do I have... You're right. Yeah, what in the world? I got into something. Holy cow, what is going on here? Oh, yeah, all covers, tie downs. Swan Lake traffic. Oh, boy. Good catch, Don. That might have been a little bit tricky. You know, it 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 was halfway decent, almost by the book. I even I even made a semi-smart choice by not trying to go all the way up the the Eldridge Glacier, and yet still, it just ended ended horribly, horribly, horribly comedically wrong. Just a little extra drag. You're right. You're right. My goodness. Oh, that was good. That was good times, guys. All right. So, uh, yeah, Talkeetna. Back to Talkeetna. Right-hand pattern. We'll land to the uh, south. And what do we need here? Uh, like a like a 100, 130 heading is all. Box there it goes. Fire up is, um, ceilings around 8,000. Oh, nice. All Brent, right. Now I, Brant, now I really hate this freaking USA2 ortho because it messed up your cap on this league. Messed up my what? You were broken. I messed up the cabin on this lake, the USA2 ortho. Oh, really man. I, I spent a whole summer building that cabin. Oh, well, Bobcat20, thanks for thanks for popping in. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, hopefully you'll come back Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays is my normal streaming time. And I've got another... Uh, fun event coming up Saturday. I've, I've, I have a little uh, something, a little series going that called the Nowhere no, Fast so nice series, and we're going to be we're going to be heading uh, across the state of Utah. We're flying down to uh, Hanksville, Utah, so hole, which flight. probably doesn't mean a whole lot to anybody, but it's going to be the the jumping off point for a really really fun Canyonlands event that we've got coming up here uh, the first part of next month so um, if you're around Saturday I've got some pretty nice pictures hop up in and uh, it's really pretty up here it'll be a lot of fun I got some pretty good water reflection in this lake avoid overshooting yeah yeah oh so hold on a second when you proceed traffic patterns do I use I got a 2500 foot ceiling uh, on the way back to the airport. You know, I, I guess I don't understand the question, Don. I remember, I'm kind of a non-pilot guy that just fakes it. Oh, okay. So you you're familiar with it, yeah. So we will in in the normal downwindsim.com we'll have uh, we'll have all the scenery minus one zero Celsius. Um, and everything, all the briefings coming up, but uh, it's. We've got a pretty a pretty cool plan. It's and it's kind of a unique plan that we're we're going to attempt this time. So um, we're really looking forward to having having folks there. And and it's uh, as much as I really like it up here in in Alaska because I think there's some amazing country, and British Columbia has some amazing country, and Idaho, and Washington. Etc. 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 I've never been to a place like this, Utah Canyonlands, and experienced some of the some of the bush strips that are down there. I, I think it might be my favorite place out of out of everywhere that I've flown so far. Um, but but you can be the judge of that if you if you come on down. So keep your calendar free. Spread the word. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. What's my trim? Okay. So it looks like I don't have anybody after this landing traffic. So I'm going to go ahead and swing it around. Yeah, we'll make, uh, we'll make right traffic out of, out of Byers and head to the north. Up the river and then to the Eldridge. Did I miss? There he is. Coming in for his landing. 
Swan Lake Traffic, Kodiak 816. We are turning to the south and departing to Talkeetna Byers. Or, sorry, Swan. Man, i got to get that right. Talkeetna Traffic, uh, Turbo No wonder Swan Lake hates me. Can't even get the name right. All right, swing it around. We should have plenty of room now. Yep, oh, yeah, we're gold. We got somebody... I try to let him sort of... He's going to kind of be taxing in the way here, so let's give him a second. We should be clear of him, honestly, once we get going. Is there anybody coming close to the final for Swan Lake? Here we go. See how we do this time, guys. Gals. Yeah, we even had a little bit of a better texture on the water, which helped with our depth perception. I mean, everything was right there, and we still, we still screwed it up. trouble getting airspeed here what's going on I have my I have my rudders down still that's what all right there we go and away we go what did I say about a 130 heading or so I think yeah let's just keep our eyes peeled because we do have some traffic that may be trying to do what we did which is essentially kind of go south of the airfield it looks like it's all nice and clear okay Pops are coming up swan lake traffic kodiak 816 we are also departing south to tuckeetna swan lake so we don't need much altitude here we do have we do have uh i think that might be mike that just made that call so We'll follow him. Talkeetna is 364 foot. So here we are at 1500, and that looks like it's going to be just about right. And I'm not going to worry about getting up to speed here. I think we'll just keep it at about, well, we're already at like 130. We don't need to be that fast here. I think the Husky does about 130, though, so we should be, we're not going to eat this guy up. I am using the experimental flight model, and I, I will say that I feel like the the water physics are, are pretty good. I'm comparing it, though. I'm not comparing it to the previous version in, in X-Plane. I can only compare it to what I have in P3D, and it it's definitely feels much more realistic. Now, again, I'm not... As you know, not a pilot. I've never done this. I've never even been in a float plane. I think it'd be way cool. But uh, from from just what I've compared with my uh, with my um, Beaver in P3D to this, this feels more like a boat when I'm on the water. There's much more of the back and forth and the you know when you when you turn, you kind of have a little bit of a lean and the water kind of sloshes you back and then you equalize and. So I, f I feel like the, what they've done with the experimental model, even though I, I think somebody said, maybe it was you, Don, that said that the, that the, the Kodiak didn't, it wasn't, didn't really affect the Kodiak. So maybe whatever the Kodiak has is what it has, and I don't know. But, and I think, I think what you saw on my, on my approach was a, was a good example of like what really happens if you I have the nose lake. up way too high you're gonna roll forward and once you get those you know those float tips down there's no coming back so um, where is it he's asking um, it's like uh, five miles south of Ruth uh, Glacier. Brant how are you entering uh, Talkeetna? Uh, right right pattern for one niner thank you If you have a hotel alpha entering right downwind for 
Okay. Ducky the traffic, Skyhawk 79 Juliet Whiskey. I'm uh, about three to the northwest. I'll be crossing midfield, uh, right upwind, full pattern. Ducky okay, so he's on. He's coming from this direction. He's going to come all the way around, come back in, and fly it. Tau Keaton at Kodiak 816, uh, about seven miles uh, to the north. We'll be entering the right pattern for one niner. 3 4, Quebec, are you doing touch and go, Swan? Tau Keaton traffic, Husky 1 2 for my trail. Oh, to the north for the right down and entry where my one nine. Oh, so he must be behind Ooh, me then. It's six. Is that you, 3 4, Quebec? You bet. Oh, uh, I see so you, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know who that is in front of us then, but we'll try to do our very Skyhawk best. Skyhawk, November 516, Delta Foxtrot, departing Swan Lake to the south for to cut Talkeetna. Swan Lake. Swan Lake, show final dragon one, north to south, touch and go, south and Archer. Talkeetna traffic, Skyhawk, Kevin and Joe Whiskey, crossing midfield uh, for a right upwind. Uh, full pattern, laning one nine, Tuckina. All right, right upwind. So he'll be. You probably can't see him, but he's on the other side of the airfield, and he's going uh, left to right. And so he he'll be probably turning that crosswind, and and he and I are gonna probably have to talk when I when I enter the downwind. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to enter it at, on a 45. Just as soon as I make out where the where the runway is. He's on midfield down down base wind. <laughs> Slant, did you have a chance to uh, watch me work a little magic there at Swan Lake? The locals will uh, will sing songs about it. It was that. It was that moving. Okay. Yeah. So uh, my my stream is on about two hours and twelve minutes. I think I think magic time was about at one hour and fifty minutes ish, probably. So you can you can cut to the chase, and and it is worth it. It's must see TV. <laughs> Uh, right All right, got to take a look here and make sure that I'm picking up traffic. I only have the guy in front of me here. I do think I have the airfield in sight. So that's Scout. Scout something something, I think, is who we're following. All right. I'm... I'm Doing okay, I think, in terms of my speed. I'm not really catching him, so we've got plenty of separation. The question is going to be the guy that was flying the right upwind. I don't see him yet, though. This guy is really dropping some altitude in a hurry. He's getting awful low here. I'm gonna, I want to enter... Is he down on the ground? Talkeetna traffic, Kodiak 816. We're going to enter the uh, right downwind on a 45 runway 19er, Talkeetna. Boy, I'm not doing a very good job of that. I actually could have probably just went into the base there, couldn't I have? I'm going to extend it, though, just a little bit, just to kind of get my bearings. I think, technically... I should have probably flown over midfield and uh, just got a feel for the traffic, who was where. So this is really not the way to do this, guys. Let's toss a notch of flaps in. We're over the river about three to the northwest. Going to be entering right down. Talkeetna. Talkeetna, Kodiak 816, right base, one niner, Talkeetna. Uh, got stepped on. Traffic. Uh, looks like I might be inside of you there. Oh, okay. Uh, the Skyhawk 79 Julia Whiskey's turning right base for 1 9. Ducky Path. Talking to traffic, the advised winds reported at 1 9 or 1 9 0 at 4 hours. 
So that guy is, uh, oh, and Talkeetna, I, I have the traffic on base. Um, Kodiak 816, we're just going to extend our base and enter right upwind. Uh, full pattern, Talkeetna. I did not see him, but now I do. He's right down there. Well, now he's behind my my seat, but uh, so so there again. That's why you fly over the airfield first. You identify all the planes first, and then you enter the pattern. Okay, so we're gonna fly the upwind. Talkeetna Kodak 816, right up wind 19 er Talkeetna. So good, uh, good lesson there. There is, there's Mike coming in. He's turning on to the upwind, and I don't see anyone else. We should have our friend, uh, and I've actually climbed here. I'm, I'm too high. Well, when you enter the field. Hey, he's going around. Yeah, I there was a guy inside of me that I didn't see, so I just uh, I've just extended and I'm just gonna fly a, another pattern here. All right, then I guess I'm number one. Yep, you should be clear. All right, so there's a guy on the ground. Do we have our landing traffic yet? Is he down? Fucking the traffic, Husky one two four, my Charlie. He must right already right be right off. Right I think he's down there, parked next to the guy that's blinking. Was that, was that a helicopter? That's, I don't even know. Alright, let's get down to pattern altitude. Do I have a notch of flaps in? I think I may. Yes, I do. We are going plenty fast. Okay, so i got to pay attention to him, because he'll be, um, he'll be traffic. There's another guy. Okay, there's traffic. I'm going to extend just a little bit and kind of try to let that guy get uh, get that guy in ahead of me. I guess I could go over and land at Christensen. I could land at Christensen. There's nobody there. Talkeetna traffic, Kodak 816. We're on the right crosswind, runway 19 or Talkeetna. Okay, so we'll get leveled out here and let's just start to kind of see who's where. There's somebody. I think he's on, uh, or she. That's a great shot at the final. That's the only traffic I see right there off my, my 2 o'clock. Seems like there's more folks out here, though. You always worry that there's somebody, like, right on the other side of your <laughs> little window divider. Okay, so I think we're ready to turn downwind. Talkeetna traffic, Kodiak 816, right downwind, runway 19 or Talkeetna. Okay, there's the Skyhawk. Talkeetna, Skyhawk 516 Delta Foxtrot. We're uh, turning right base, 1-9er. Right okay. behind you, Brad. So there's two guys there. Dragon 1, Takeda, final 3 miles, 1-9er. 3 mile final, so Dragon's coming out. He's out there kind of beyond where we're seeing, unfortunately. Boy, I took that uh, base way out here, didn't I? Oh, crap. I didn't hear where he was at. Here's where everybody's coming. Yeah, if you just go east of Talkeetna a mile, you'll hit Christensen Lake, and you can land there if you want. All right. I am way far out of the pattern here, guys. That was not a great pattern. I got an objectionable. Getting a little slow too. Let's get back up to about 90. One mile. If I have to, I'll just extend my downwind now. But I, I think two of them are. There I can see. There's the dragon. 
So I have somebody extending the downwind. So he's out in front of me. All right, so I'll stay on the downwind until I hear him turning base. Dragon one short final. And then do I have anybody off to my left here? Turning base. Oh, okay, so I can. He's turning base now, so he's. Tucky to clear runway. He's going to be heading this way. Uh, I don't I know where he's at. Right now. Be good. When he be turns sure. final, I'll turn uh, base. I've got. I'm a little far, but not too bad. Boy, the traffic is picking up again. Okay, I'll turn base then. Kodiak 816, turning right base runway 19 or Talkeetna. We should be plenty far away to not again undercut somebody which I've been known to do but I've let my altitude get up high again darn it and my speed I'm not doing a very good job flying this last pattern here guys heesh heesh these leash all right there we go let's bleed it off we got to be down what did I say Tucky the dragon one clearing runway uh, 364 so 364 I got a ways to go luckily I've extended so I have a little bit of extra time put a second notch of flaps in here let's help that descent just a little bit well that was a nice flight yeah it was awesome not over yet for me <laughs> Tau Keaton traffic Kodak 816 Final one niner, Talkeetna. Okay, let's get here turned and we're still awful high, boy guys. Am I gonna have Try to do a way, right? second pattern here? Alright, gear coming down. Did you know, fun fact, most seaplanes do not have a VLE Oh boy, I've got somebody on short final. Holy crap, flaps out. I cannot really slow down much more, buddy. Well, it's VLE. Oh my goodness. Landing gear extended speed. That sound you're hearing is me is stalling. So Holy slow. cow, this guy and is... The wheels really don't move this guy down. is crawling. Uh, uh, I'm going to have so to go around. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm going to have to go around, boys. Dang it. Talking traffic, uh, scout sensor Zulus, three miles to the uh, west, northwest. Inbound. Turned her too tight, down boys down and girls. Talking to uh, 516 Delta Foxtrot, we're clear of 1 Niner. Talking to Kodiak 816 on the go, 1 Niner. <laughs> I should just go over to Christensen and lay, uh, land over there, but I'm afraid I'll flip it over again. Okay. Fun trip. Good night, guys. Thank you. Hey, Good take her easy. Good night. Take it easy. Good night. All right. Mike, you still logged on? Yeah, I'm off ground talking. Yeah, Let's climb up you. to about a thousand here. All right, so I've got to figure out where everybody's at now. Swan Lake traffic, Kodak 816, right crosswind, runway 19er. Uh, sorry, Talkeetna. I can't even. I am. Maneuvers, maneuvering, entering right down in 18. Stupid. Alright, let's see where that guy is. There he is. Skyhawk 3 4 Quebec is following the Sierra Zulu into a right downwind for runway 19er. Okay, looks like I'm going to be number 3 now. Skyhawk Charlie Goff from Yankees Yankees over highway camp inbound for the right 45 entry 19er. Full stop. Boy, I might screw this up.
Talkeetna traffic, Kodiak 816. Also on the right, downwind 1-9-er. Talkeetna. Talkeetna traffic, Scott Center, right base uh, for 1-8. Talkeetna. Yeah, those tail draggers, man, they, and they, they just walk it on in there. I mean, that's the beauty of them. I have a plane out here that I have lost sight of. I think there's three planes ahead of me here, guys. So this is going to be the extension of all extensions. But I don't see anybody. Maybe I can go short base right here. Oh, there's somebody landed. Okay. There's one. I have two more. Where are you guys? Talking to traffic, uh, Scott for Quebec, uh, turning base, runway one liner. All right, so that guy's ahead of me, and I think uh, Skyflies is coming in here also. She may be out here still. She said she was over the highway, though, so I feel like she's probably in front of me. I'm going to just keep going. Extend, extend, extend. You can always extend that downwind. No no terrain issues here, so I'm just extending. And uh, Talkeetna traffic, Kodiak 816. We're just going to extend the downwind. I, th I believe we're number three. Uh, landing one nine or Talkeetna. Talkeetna traffic, Scott Center, Zulu is clear of uh, one eight. All right, notch. Ooh, I already have a notch collapsing. Hold Talkeetna the phone traffic, here, buddy. Three four Quebec turning uh, short final runway one nine or Talkeetna. All right, there's Stop. number. There's the second guy to land. Oh, I just need to know where Skyflies right is. Park my player. That's Scott. Traffic, uh, Charlie Gulf Lane, Moist, X-ray, midfield, right now, we fly. It's one like traffic. Hmm. Maybe Skyflies is waiting on me here. Uh, Skyflies, a uh, position report. Uh, Ronka Scout. Uh, we're just over Highway Camp uh, from the office. Airways. Yeah, that's what I got. Duck eating traffic, Kodiak 816, right base runway 19er. Talkeetna. Interesting. All right, we're more out of pattern a altitude now. Even, like a even a little high, though, still. Talkeetna traffic. Uh, is. Uh, four, Quebec is over the numbers. Runway one niner, full stop. Talkeetna. All right, so he's out of my way. I am definitely <laughs> on an extended downwind. What's the, uh, the uh, Talkeetna traffic. Kodiak 816. A Turn and final one niner. Talkeetna. All right, guys. Skyhawk, Charlie Goff, Romeo, Alpha Yankee is about seven miles, uh, slightly to the northwest, maneuvering for the 45 century one diner. Talking you know. All right, boys, I'm going to make it. I was about to start to do a fuel check here, although I've respawned twice, so I think it refilled every time I respawned. <laughs> so, Mike, how many airframes did you count? Okay, second notch of flaps. We went through and six. Gear coming down. Oh boy, oh boy. Trim, 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 trim. trim. Put it at the lake at Swan. That, that hurt. Yeah, I think I used three airframes to lay that. <laughs> oh boy. I used two. One light traffic, Charlie Golf, Lee X ray. Okay, uh, speed right looks pretty good. I'm still a bit high. Landing south, one light traffic. Actually, I was just giving them a good washing by turning them on. <laughs> there you go. It's hard to wash the top of those wings, man. I'm with you. Exactly. By the way, since the event has concluded for me, the poll for the event in April, for which date has now closed, the winning vote. You cut out on the winning vote. Is building suspense. Texas. Texas uh -huh. won. All right. It won by 20 votes to Minnesota's 18 votes. It won by two. Oh, that's a tight one. People are tired of the cold weather, I guess. Yeah. All Where's right. Uh, Talkeetna traffic, Kodiak 816. Short final, one niner, Talkeetna. All right, final notch of flaps coming in here. Mike. Oh boy, there's a little bit of a What's up? bubble. Wow. Download that ortho scenery and try and do a, a canyon run. What part of Alaska will we buy? Anchorage? What? I gotta wait till I get that hard drive, that external man. Denali. Yeah. Oh, I don't see that as a T. I'm looking for a T. I could have put that in Amitab. I see Anchorage. Yeah, 
Yeah, download the uh, Anchorage. Oh boy. Bouncer. Yep. Oh, I got some work to do landing this thing on a uh, with the skis or with the floats, but we're down successfully. Yeah, yeah we we'll take her four times. Sorry we'll about take that. it. Hey, not a problem, man. It's fun to have so much traffic. All right. Oh, good to see that we uh, managed to get the Airbus in here. The tail dragger Airbus. That's something new from uh, British Airways. And I might just, I may swing it over here next to the old static Skyhawk. Or is that a, is that a Sky Lane maybe over here? There's a Stinson. I think this is maybe a Sky Lane. Oh, it's not a static. Maybe it's somebody that's uh, rendered as a 182. Okay, well, all in all, fun was had by all. I know I had a good time. And, uh, yeah, the A321 with floats. I hope I pulled far enough out of the way here. Uh, these never fail to disappoint, you guys. And I really appreciate everybody that came in and flew the event. Um, of course, Mike, for uh, for putting all these together, thank you so much. Um I was considering doing a go around. And, uh, uh, I was considering yeah, great to meet new friends. Thanks, Bobcat20, for the, the new follow. I look forward to connecting with you uh, here, if nothing else, uh, on the, the Bush League event coming up in just a couple of weeks. But if you don't have anything to do Saturday, like I say, and you feel like flying down toward the Canyonlands in Utah, yeah, come on uh, come on out, let me know. Um, and let's see. I think, boy, oh, boy, let me... Let me kind of button things up here as far as my stream goes. And uh, I will tell you that I do have some stuff coming up here that are that you, that you may be interested in. Like I say, Saturday is the uh, Nowhere Fast series. Um, and then the uh, coming up after that, uh, there's another Pack the Pattern on Tuesday the 24th. We're going to be in the King Air 350 that we just recently acquired there, the Airfoil Labs King Air 350. And we'll be flying there somewhere around the Portsmouth area up in the Boston virtual uh, friendly skies. And then uh, Thursday, I I don't have a, a destination yet, but I think it's time to break out that Aerobasque Robin again. Um, and then uh, a week from this Saturday is the Cherry Blossom event. And I'll be in the PMDG 7. 37 and that kind of rounds out my march to be honest with you i haven't thought much past that but i'll let you know you'll be the first to know uh when new flights are on the horizon so i am going to call it good again for tonight thanks everybody great flying with you um, i hope you stay safe i hope your family is healthy um, i'm lifting you all up in in prayers for good health and uh until next time take care god bless